Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War Legendary Iron Man playthrough. Look at that, we got another scientist that we could get. Uh, the Grey Knights are going to land here. <clears throat> And I'm just going to do that little mission. We have it over infiltrated, so it should be relatively easy. Seven to nine enemies, very low strength, very low vigilance. Let's jump into it and have a nice little mission. And escort them out of the area safely. Goes without saying, but don't leave any hostile standing. Menace one five, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Advent already knows we're here. So your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Very good. In which case, Johnny Five <coughs> is going to be the man that is scouting out. We got an enemy squad here. All right, two enemy squads to be precise. Moving over here so that we can steady the weapon and get them. Synapse moves to there. We got stasis if needed. And we got 20 turns, so easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Steadying weapon. Overwatch, overwatch, we good. Heard a door, uh, door open there. Can only hit that viper ser uh, serpent. Hmm. Somehow this little line blocks line of sight to both of them. Hilarious. Let's pull them nonetheless. <coughs> I don't want to go for the viper. I would rather like to get these two down and then take the Viper next turn. Good, so death from above for us. That's fine. Steadying our weapon again. And let's try to get the Archer. Good. Synapse is fantastic. Really, really strong. Moves up. Moves up. Johnny moves up here. Let's take this here as a cover spot. And we're good. These guys are now they <clears throat> must have heard shots, but for whatever reason, they decide to move away. Okay, we can definitely get this pack down. Moving closer to them so that I can see all of them. I see. Uh, that's good to know. Let's get the archer. Snipers are so good. Okay, back. Sorry for that. So, what we want to do is, of course, steady weapon again. Interestingly enough, uh, I guess be okay. we can't fully reach this guy, but Soulfire might do the job. <clears throat> it certainly does. I got it, right? Very well done. Moves up, 
Overwatches and that's two packs down. I think they, this pack here might trigger either of them. Not yet though. Hmm, how do we go about that? <coughs> what we could do... Hmm, that's a tough spot that we find ourselves in. But we could get rid of all of them if we play it right. I want the loot as well. So maybe we'll just go for an Overwatch play here for now. Item here. That definitely was uh, worth it. Reload, steady weapon, Overwatch, and Overwatch. Unfortunately, the overwatch missed. <clears throat> that means one of them, uh, one of these packs is already pulled. We have 144% infiltration. They should not be able to take reaction shots whatsoever. Every percent point above 100% reduces it by 1% on legendary so technically this should be a complete kill uh, there shouldn't be anything that they can do but apparently that is not the case heavy gunner I like the idea of taking them down. Unfortunately, just a grazing hit. Still just a grazing hit. And a miss. Very unfortunate. Mutant <coughs> explodes. <coughs> Afterwards, we drive him insane. Let's move to here. All right, Viper is taken out. I want to deal with it this turn. So if I uns unfortunately still only, quote unquote, deals four to six points of damage. You move to here. Unfortunately, we triggered both of the packs, which is really not what I wanted. On your order. <coughs> Moves to here. <coughs> Sorry for that. <coughs> and we do have two more to deal with. I think we're just taking out the mutant and the heavy gunner gets his turn.
Never mind. <coughs> Suppression? No, just straight up miss. Okay, cool. Unfortunately, more loot expired. In hindsight, should have taken those two pieces of loot instead of the one. These guys are are having tough cover. Insanity again on the mutant. Finally sticking. Panicked. Okay, cool. Decent chance of fully killing him. Trying to soften the Viper up, unfortunately without success. Hence we need Bladestorm and need to give up our cover. <coughs> Good. There is the Bladestorm and the kill. Moves up soon, we're going to see reinforcements. <laughs> he crawls back into the little cave that he came from, that cave troll. Good, that was two, four, six, eight. Uh, I think we should be done. Got it covered. Yep, we're done. <coughs> oh, yeah. Affirmative. Oh, oh, oh. Missed a bit of the loot. That's unfortunate, but other than that, actually, relatively clean mission. The enemies were no match for our Grey Knights. A pretty rough uh, scientist if he just jumps through a window. If you say so. It's one of those chess boxing scientists that does a bit of MMA in his spare time. Okay, very good. Quick and uh, painless. The sniper, like Russ's uh, startup, was just phenomenal. Packs of two, pew, pew, and just take them out. Just like it's nothing. Of course, this team in particular had a bit uh, too little cover removal, but yeah, what do you expect with only four people? Sam, oh yeah. Sam, my best buddy. How about we're giving you the most rapid of all fires? I like that. Seems like a good idea to me. We 
we give him a bit of off skills as well. I don't yet know if he's going to be part of uh, the Grey Knights, so I'm careful in not uh, taking uh, too many other skills. Let's wait uh, with it for uh, just a few seconds. Um, good loot, very good loot actually. And another scientist, which finally brings us to 10 scientists and now let's put them more onto the research path. Now, if we go to SWAT management, we got a gunner here. And Sam is bond mated with uh, Hiroki Tanaka, who I think is down here, Shinobi. Okay. Uh, not sure if he can become. Uh, a Grey Knight. I want to actually have only one of each class in there, so Sam for now needs to stay where he's at. I'll find a use for the ability points that he has. Okay. Could use another engineer. Other than that, we're doing good. New target, fantastic. Liberation, hinder admin operation, and we got eight days. That's exactly what I want to see. <coughs> and we got the bond training done. Let's do one at a time real quick before we go into that mission. Okay, we're, yeah, we're going to do that in a second. And then before we do something here, we got John McMullen and Balani as potential next training partners, which is Russ and John uh, Johnny Five. These guys will require some more infiltration, so we can't put them into the training yet. So Hawkbutt and Mike need to wait one more training, but that is fine. That's fine. Good. This here will happen next. We're going to put the Space Marines, uh, the Space Wolves in there. Shankar Gupta is your colleague and Shankar was in here okay perfect so i want to remember that we want to put um do uh, beta into this what as well and be better is a technician and we're going to free up a grenadier by doing so so <coughs> uh, tarik will go into a different squad so that's fine and once Schenker is done, uh, John here will also not be uh, with them. He's currently just filling in for whoever else is doing officer training. As you, are know, uh, as you have known by now, we're having a lot of officer trainings, right? So um, to the point where I'm spending most of the time in making sure that we have always two officers training, <coughs> always two Psyops training, always a bond mate uh, training, and if possible, squaddies training. So that's four different training uh, cycles times two in most of the cases. So two, four, six, seven uh, different training cycles uh, that are happening in parallel. And on top of it, you still need to make sure that your um, squads are uh, doing fine. Okay, uh, this mission, uh, this episode is too short to just let go, so it's going to be a longer one because you get a bonus episode uh, in here. Operation Lost Thorn is upon us. Uh, that's the liberation mission where we are getting yet another scientist. Oh yeah, our research will look fabulous, but we will need uh, those many scientists because uh, next up I need to go to coiled weapons and, um, and powered armor, and I definitely need the funds for coil uh, weapons just for the A-team for um, and 
and for the damage dealers of the lower teams uh, so that we can uh, keep up with the hit point growth. This is properly infiltrated, so we're uh, doing well. <clears throat> we do have uh, the space wolves here. Well, it's going to be a full squad that is going to take up 24 enemies whilst we're getting out of the map. Let's go. Good, we have, we should have plenty of uh, rounds left. <coughs> yeah, 20. Questions more so when are the reinforcements going to come in? How do we get up there? Oh, it's the long way around. Is it worth it though? This would be a perfect option for a grappling suit, right? Okay, I'll give it a try. Implacable spends two rounds in actually climbing up. VIP. Aviator to the front line. Hung to the front line. Slightly back and Renvin in a decent shooting position. All right. Good first turn. The fact that they are, that we haven't spotted out anything, is a bit worrying, I might say because it means we're going to fight against a lot of enemies at the same time. And we're pushing into ex explosive terrain. Video feed is squad side, right? Vision increase, okay, or intel. And... I think we're going to try to get the intel on our way out. Here I come. Running. Let's do this. Got the yelling might attract someone. Moves to here and moves to there. And we, generally speaking, should be okay. Got a little bit of overwatch. Straight ahead, we're going to see enemies. First pack is here. Right away, we are seeing potential reinforcements. Pull it from there. Could move up. And then shoot a shoot a rocket Let's move already. has a pretty sizable um, reduction of accuracy I'm on the move. moving up we're not engaging this turn Ginormous squats. Interesting. What's over there? Got a cover. I'm going. 
because they won't be able to reach us up here anyways might as well move all the way to here so that we can take open shots and are not uh, falling behind one of the things that i want to make sure is that we're continuing to move because the reinforcements will at some point hold us very much down these guys are a problem as well i think these here are way more of a problem Good time for that. Even better time for a rocket. We got theoretically another rocket, but for now, let's make sure we're killing those who deserve it. We got death from above, so just trying to take as many of them off of the uh, plate as humanly possible for the target the sidewinder we still got an archer here which is a problem nope that's not a hit rapid fire all right give it a go come on Yeah, that would uh, rat us out. We don't want that to happen. Will trigger the other pack. Can't do that. Going in for the kill. I'm all over it. That should reveal the Naja. Not good. Let's take out the Naja with a nice little stunning. Okay. I guess that'll be okay. Good. Sector needs to move because he's now flanked and we're okay. Overwatch. Wanted to theoretically throw in a second rocket, but that might be the case this turn. I'm taking fire. Fantastic. OK, 
Okay, we can kill him and break uh, the mind control. That's good. I'm going to a protocol. Into Haywire protocol. Trying to take over this hunter drone. Good, very good, very good. Good, we can position into full cover. Now we're going to take the Naja. Unfortunately, minimum damage. <clears throat> so I wonder Yeah, that's that's the right thing to do Even if it hits the drone Well, maybe it was not the right thing to do. Whatever you say. Unfortunately, no good hit. Impressed yet? Moves to full cover, and everybody is in full cover. So we're not doing too uh, too bad. Okay, Hunter Drone takes minimum damage. These guys are triggering. Hunter Drone now begins to take slightly more damage. Okay, what can we do with our beloved hunter drone? Uh, stunner and drone shock. Who needs a stunning? I think this guy down here also triggers overwatch, that's fine. And we're just going to be a nice little mimic beacon. Closing the door for free. And stun the grenadier. For four rounds. Very good. Very good. Very good. Trooper needs to go down. Holo targeting the advanced trooper.
This here will leave us in cover, which is super helpful. And thanks to the smoke, it's even full cover. We're doing well. Half cover. And let's go for the rocket here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, just a grazing shot. Going in as deep as we can. Let's try to 50-50. Unfortunate. I need people to die, that's the point, right? So... Come on. Finally. Full cover, Rocketeer would be good. Heavy Rocketeer would also be good, but let's take the 100%. <clears throat> okay. We are slightly moving closer. Drone is still up and running, I like it. <coughs> I hope the mech will shoot at it. Okay, waste the priest turn, that's good. And if the mech shoots at it, that is all we can ask for, really. Okay, fantastic. The mech needs to die. There's no doubt in my mind that it needs to. I'm wondering, can we just push in and kill these guys? Down, down, this guy is taken out, and we only got like one trooper here, and the priest, and of course the mech, but this here should clean up so much. And the problem is we're having reinforcements, right? So it's not going to be a long time where we are waiting and waiting and waiting uh, to then Finally figure out, oh yeah, gosh, hmm. we should have considered uh, taking all of uh, them down. So this here needs to end really, really fast. We can't fight a battle of attrition against Advent. Let's see. Want to know if the Mac is a valid option. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve hit points. Now the Mac is by far the most dangerous foe. Nice. Advanced perception really good.
position ourselves here and try to shoot him. Or we're going to go in with and start to use fire next turn. I don't want to go away further. So no, no, we're going in. That is hitting all of the slots, including his. And he's now burning. That was the right decision. now on it's getting really really tough these still look cute but make no mistake uh, reinforcements are going to come in at some point every single round so we need to just get out of here sniper needs to reposition because it's he's the furthest away from where we need to be Good. One last round, and then then the city is going to end. Two, four, six, eight. Finally. Good. We're playing aggressive now. taken out and the other guy will be likely taken out as well. I can handle that. This triggers overwatch. But thanks to lightning reflexes we're like nah brah we don't care. up gets the priest Impressed yet? What's over that? Very good. Target eliminated. Kill this guy. Get him placable um, for it. And we're soon going to move out of here. Just straight up double move with a sniper. And move with the VIP. What a massive, massive shootout. Okay, before we do anything, let's check if this here is a safe and secure route or if there are more enemies. I know, it's hilarious, isn't it? You move out. Everybody Oscar Mikes. Sniper just double moves. <clears throat> We 
We do fortify into moving into full cover. We do run and gun. Into the sweetest stun that you've seen. And we're taking the high ground up there. No! <laughs> A bit of panic will not uh, prevent us from finishing this mission. Reinforcements are going to come in any second. can easily get out next time and this guy cannot defend himself as he's stunned. No parry. The melee weapons are busted. Like, they are a bit too strong. Uh, the shinobis become our no new main damage dealer. I don't know if that's working as intended, but holy shit are they strong. Good, next turn every everybody here just begins to move out. One more set of reinforcements, but they should not be able to hold us back. Nice hit. Good job, Hunk. Look, move out. Most importantly, move out. Move out. Moves out. Takes a kill. Moves out. And we're done. Really tough mission. But we had enough firepower and we have over infiltrated that one. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. 25 kills, that's a lot. At points when we were uh, like triggering these two massive packs, I was like, hmm, this doesn't look so great. Long War has that uh, nice little built-in feature that there's just a moment of, oh shit, so many enemies, and then you need to find a way to get rid of all of them. Snake got a promotion, uh, we're taking Bladestorm, no matter what. So Return Fire isn't bad, I like that. Survival Instinct is good as well, both of them are actually really decent. Successive shots isn't bad either, and he theoretically has the option to get uh, take guns. I mean, look. 
Uh, typically, we're not requiring guns on them. Return fire wouldn't be bad. It's a decent weapon. But survival instincts are even better, like 20 defense. But that means he's very hard to hit. I'll just go with uh, the program here. I like defensive skills because then I don't need to put people in my memorial. And Aaron is gunnery sergeant, which is great. Rescue protocol is cool, just uh, so that we can get people back. Threat assessment is very good. And this here is a bit of a trap. I had it the last time. Had zero times that that it was really, really beneficial. Oftentimes the things die in, uh, too fast and I'm actually using them more as a mimic beacon. So full override cool as a principle, in reality not that cool. But executioner, very good. And coup de gras, also very good. So both of them you might even be able to have enough points to get both of them i would say we're going with executioner first because it just happens more often that's uh, using up his points and now the question is uh, threat assessment or rescue protocol what's the cooldown on rescue protocol 15 dodge five mobility can only be used uh, mm, with no points left can only be used uh, mm, cannot be used on concealed units an ally cannot benefit both from command and rescue protocol. Okay. Uses one action and does not end your turn. Two charges per mission. More charges in the future. That's actually not bad just to reposition people from time to time after they have uh, moved into a tough into a tough position. So I think I will find a lot of value in it. Personally, my theory around those types of games and XCOM in particular is you always want to use uh, abilities that manipulate the action economy first. That's by far the king. Action economy is king. And positioning comes right after that. Uh, so any ability that allows you to position better is well worth it. Good. Then we got um, the aviator. I think we're... Uh, going with incinerator. I like that a lot on the others. So that's not bad. We would have the option to increase rockets. Not bad, but I think we're going with incinerator because the flame uh, thrower actually is really really good. Um, I completely revised my opinion about that. But it requires correct positioning. So hit and run. Good. Rapid fire. In my opinion even a little bit better. So rapid fire, it's it is, and implacable. Could get him smoker or flashbang, or we wait a little bit because he has a very high combat intelligence to get ever vigilant, which I think would be the correct choice here. Overwatch um, and ever vigilant, that's a nasty combination. Oh yeah, we're going to do that. Good. These guys are not necessarily the best friends, but you will learn to like each other. You will learn to like each other. Squad management. Tracy, where do we, where are you? Um, Gunner.
Tracy saying Elliot is still on a mission. Okay, because we got an advanced uh, perception and I figured might be something worthwhile investigating. Here he is. Wow, we got a good roster. A lot of gunnery sergeant. Tech sergeants as uh, well, so that's not bad. Actually doing very well. Good, and if my memory served me well, we had a few things that were popping up before this was happening. No oh yeah, number one. Okay, and yet another mission. I'll come up to that in a second. Even more important uh, that we're doing the SWAT management because here, with the Imperial Fists, we had assigned soldiers Shank the Gupta, uh, that is not him. Down here, okay, well, yeah, we <laughs> still need to do that with the Space Wolves in a second. Uh, before we do that, though, uh, we had a few missions that were popping up. Grey Knights, 21 hours, uh, not yet. We could do this real quick. We got a fantastic mission here. And we got another smash and grab mission here. Both of them really long infiltrations and the ultramarines are trying to hack that. Okay, cool. Need to still uh, continue the uh, having the overview. So this here is the liberation mission for this uh, region. We Double check, uh, let me double check. So, resistance management. So, New Australia has three liberations. So, one, two, and the tower is now available. So, that'll happen soon. The tower will pop up, and then we will need to go through it. This is already um, liberated. East Asia, we're starting the liberation now. And New India, I think we were waiting for the next liberation to pop up. Is that correct? Yeah, currently not much happening, which tells me we. No, 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 wait a second. We don't have the, the network tower yet, so let's find the network tower first. Then we're shifting over our um, scientists to here. So, we got this one here, which is the next liberation mission. That is, uh, actually, this is number three, right? Hinder, uh, hinder the advent operations once that is happening then the network tower pops up which means since that is now found you will go over here good now I am wondering, should I just do the Space Wolf smash and grab so that they are ready and then I do have enough uh, SWATs to take on those two missions, potentially the right way to play it. Squad management, we got the Grey Knights ready, but they're still bond training, so it's just, uh, they should do a fast mission and not a long one. Got the entire Blood Angels ready, so they could uh, do that. Um, Imperial Fists is typically the training regiment, so not necessary. Uh, the ones that we put in. Hats um, is already a sergeant, so we would typically assign additional soldiers here. I have another gunner, for instance, that we put in, and we're putting Hats out. His partner, uh, Zirkim, gets, gets another rank, and then uh, we'll put him out of there as well. Got a couple of sergeants here, so that's fine. Anyways, so they would be ready. And then we got this brand new roster, which is the Salamanders. And uh, they, I think, could be recruiting additional uh, soldiers, to be fair. Technician, Sharpshooter, Assault, Shinobi. Uh, we got definitely a gunner here. Good. 
Good, so Gunner, Frontline, they have one of everything, which is fine. Another Sharpshooter would be potentially a little bit too much, so we'll just leave it as is. And the others uh, can chime in whenever needed. Okay, so we have enough chapters ready, although I'm not sure if I want to give such a difficult mission to kind of a lobby chapter. That that I don't know yet, but we're going to do the uh, the other mission, the smash and grab in East Asia first, and then we're coming back to these missions. Uh, that's the end of today's episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate uh, your viewership. If you want to leave a comment and a like down below, that would mean the world for me. And we see each other in the next episode. Bye-bye.